pre-workout snack. Good morning guys, here's my pre-workout snack right now. I've got my rice cakes, my nut butter, and my fruit with honey, and then have some oats going on the stove top for Jay right now, which he is using the Farmers We Know oats, which are these right here. And we're getting ready for the gym. I already picked up my gym fit last night. I'm wearing this LA hat, which I'm so excited to wear. I haven't even worn it yet, but it's so cute. And then a sweatshirt. It's just one of those days that I want to do my workout in a hoodie, a hat on. Also, I don't even know the last time I worked out in a hat, actually. And then my line shorts, because I am doing legs. And then I'm also going to work out in my New Balance shoes. Okay, I'm outside the gym right now, and I've already been drinking my pre-workout, and it takes me so long to get to the gym. I need to start waiting until I'm, like, almost here to start drinking it, because then I get all tingly and, like, need to get all my energy out. So, I need to run in there and do... I've got quads and glutes today, so we're going to get a good workout in. And happy Friday! I figured I'd take you guys through a couple days of my life, but um, this morning, I just kind of rushed around. It was really really stormy and gloomy now it's not so thing i mean it's still gloomy but it's not raining so thank goodness i don't have to go in the rain to get into the gym and i haven't worked out in a hat in a long time so this might end up coming off i don't really know if i like working out in hats we'll see i really don't know like i mean it it kind of like gets sweaty and gross and i don't know we'll see i'll probably end up taking it off but i'm gonna get a good leg day in and then we'll get our day started i have kind of a busy day today i've got um, I'm gonna work at a coffee shop probably I always say that but I actually got groceries delivered so they should be delivered by the time I get home from Whole Foods um, and because I just like realized I didn't have a lot of stuff so I um, ordered those last night and they should get here while I'm at the gym get home then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and get some work done before I have a lymphatic drainage massage at 1 which I don't know if you guys Remember, I used to do that all the time before my surgery, or right after my surgery. So now I'm going to go back just because I, one, I still have no feeling in like some of my abdominal area from my surgery. And also, I just feel like I retain like a lot of like fluid. I just feel like I need a lymphatic drainage uh, massage probably like once a month or so now rather than every week like I was doing. So I've got that at one o'clock and then I have a laser appointment or a laser console appointment at 4.30, which is for my skin. So hopefully that can help with like my acne scarring and stuff. So kind of like, I mean, nothing crazy, but I'm just gonna work in between there um, and just kind of a busy work day. So that'll be good. It's gonna be a good day. Happy Friday. We love a good Friday. And then I have some friends coming in town. So tomorrow um, I'm gonna meet them. They're in town for a wedding. I think they get here today, but I think I'm gonna meet them tomorrow for brunch. So I was like, I'll just pick up the camera. I'll take you guys through a couple days of my life. And before I literally get antsy as heck for my pre-workout, let's go in and do a leg day. All right, workout is complete, got my Starbucks. And we've given up the New Year's resolution. I'm done talking about it because it's no longer a New Year's resolution. <laughs> I decided, you know, my trips to Starbucks, it's more than just the coffee. I was like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna make coffee at home. I've decided it's like my favorite part of the morning. So it's an experience going to Starbucks and I was like, I think the only person that did not get like the Starbucks wrapped or whatever. I looked in my email. I actually, I genuinely was curious. I really wanted to know like how much money I spent at Starbucks and like what my top drink was. Cause like I've gone through phases with my drinks, you know, but I didn't even receive it. And so that was God saying, Sydney, you just keep going to Starbucks. You don't need to know that information. <laughs> I don't know like I have an espresso at home but I don't really leave my house that much other than like go to the gym and then I look forward to like my little trip to Starbucks after so we're gonna keep doing it but got my workout done and 
I just had like this long little chat with Jay because I was getting so frustrated. It just is like really hard for me that I can't record in the mornings and like I love working out in the morning, but like I can't record in the morning um, because it's so busy in the gym and like I obviously don't want people in the background. And I know we've had this chat so many times, but like it just is really hard because that's like part of the content that I really want to put out there, but I can't like I can't when it's super busy but I also like working out in the morning and like one thing's got to give like either I work out in the morning and I can't record or I go on a walk in the morning because I still like to like work out first thing in the morning but then I'm just gonna have to like go do my actual workout at like nine o'clock and do like a nine or ten o'clock workout so that I can actually record it so I don't know kind of contemplating that and trying to figure that out because I don't know like I try and like whip out my camera but I obviously want to be respectful of everyone and I'm actually like not allowed to but, like they don't want you to record when there's other people in there so I don't know it's a struggle but that's part of it and I get it for sure so this morning I'm gonna head home it's super gloomy out and I was gonna walk outside um, but I think that I'm just going to head to a coffee shop and work once I get home and showered and everything and then um, Maybe a little bit later. It'll be nice. I don't think it's supposed to storm all day. So I got a cold brew with oat milk Extra few shots of espresso and it's gonna be a good day Got all of my groceries delivered from Whole Foods. I really did not need a ton of stuff, but I got some tomatoes, some turkey bacon, some ground turkey, some fruit, some cauliflower rice, and I'm about to make like a little um, egg and turkey bacon type breakfast. So I'm going to get started on that, but here are my Whole Foods. Oh, and I also got a couple poppies. All right, not the prettiest plate of food, but looks tasty. Doing some eggs, some turkey bacon, some avocado, and some toast for breakfast this morning. Apartment is clean, we've got the dishwasher running, everything is in its place, it feels great. Pretty much in the same kind of an outfit that I worked out in this morning, but I'm about to head out the door to go to do some work at a coffee shop before my appointment. My appointment's at one, Spent a little bit, I had breakfast, and then I was like, I really want my apartment to stay tidy. So I'm going by the mantra or by the lesson that I heard that was instead of put it down, put it away. And I'm really working on that because I feel like I have to clean, like actually clean every single night. So instead, I'm gonna work on just putting stuff away as I go so that at the end of the night, it's not like a huge clean. Um, but yeah, so here's what we're wearing today. Just this Anin Bang hoodie. Some, these are actually eight inch aligned shorts. So I wear these like if I'm wearing a big sweatshirt and I'm not just like working out in them. And then the same sneakers that I wore today. And I don't know which coffee shop I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna see what one's closest to my appointment. And yes, we're gonna head out the door. So yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's get on the road. We've been productive as heck this morning though, so I'm feeling good about that. Wow, it's been literally the most insane day and we just have not chatted in so long. I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off and I had not been home. It's five o'clock right now and I have not been home since I think 11. So it's been a while. Um, I had a call with 1UP Nutrition, which that is, um, if you guys don't know, I'm an athlete for 1UP. So I have a collab for protein with them and then we have something really exciting coming up that we're working on. So I'm sure you guys will see a lot of that process, but had a lot longer of a call. I expected it to just be a quick call. I didn't realize exactly what all we were going to talk about. I ended up being on that call for um, almost, I think like an hour and a half or so. And then I got some computer work done in between went right in to my lymphatic drainage massage and that took two hours because 
it's not really a massage it's basically like i had my abdominal surgery i had my um surgery a couple months ago at this point i don't know how long it's been but months now and i still don't have feeling between my belly button and where my incision is which is like my bikini line kind of where like a c-section scar would be and so we just like kind of like went over a bunch of things seeing how like my um muscle response is like holding up my arm compared to like where my core is so she does all sorts of different stuff basically to just like make sure that my um, muscle connection is going the way it should be and like recovering the way it should be so we did lots of things for that we talked about um doing acupuncture to try and get that like sensation back where um i lost feeling in my abdomen uh because of like basically nerve damage from surgery which happens like even like my mom who had acl surgery when she was 16 she still doesn't have feeling back in her knee so there are things that happen from surgery but had that and then i went straight to my laser appointment which that was to talk about like my acne scarring so we did that and then I had a call with my mom. My mom and I talked for a little bit on the phone on my way home so I didn't vlog then. And now I'm here and I just like took out some packages that I had. I just took out some trash and now I'm about to make dinner. So I just caught you up to speed on my whole day. But it's been crazy and it's been a good day but it's been literally chaotic as heck. And I'm so far behind on water. So that's gonna be my main priority while I'm making dinner and everything is to get my water in check. I need to literally chug so much water. I'm gonna make cod, um, sweet potatoes, and green beans for dinner tonight. So let's get to cooking good looking. Doing some cod tonight with veggies, so I've got this on the stove top. I normally would do it with coconut aminos, but I'm all out of coconut aminos, so this is just going to have to do with some seasoning on it. I did some garlic and herb seasoning, and then I'm doing a root beer poppy, and of course I'm going to do that in a wine glass. <laughs> My cod is a hot mess, but here's dinner. Green beans, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, tomatoes, and some cod, and an olipop, or a poppy. Tonight's a poppy. All right, I'm in my comfy pajamas. I'm showered. I'm actually watching Emily in Paris right now, but I forgot to show you guys this a little bit ago. So I got some for my mom as well. I'm gonna send her these. They are the Fleur brand. She told me that she loves this brand and she says she loves the scent Missing Person. Kind of crazy scents. Um, I have these ones for myself. So Not Your Baby and Tangerine Boy. I'm so intrigued by this brand. So if you guys have ever tried it, I'm so interested to know what you guys think. And then I think that, yeah, I'm going to send all three of these to my mom as well. I think that's everything. Yeah, Tangerine Boy in there as well. So four of them. And actually, I think I'm going to keep the missing persons one. But I'm going to send these out to my mom. Have you guys ever tried this brand at all? She says that she loves it. And she says they're very, like, clean scents. And I always love trying new body washes. I love body products and skincare. Like, that's, like, my favorite, my favorite kind of stuff to try. So I got some lotion and some body wash. I also always love brands that have very minimal branding on them and that they're very like clean aesthetic looking. It's like the same thing as Saltaire. I love how like simple they are. Good morning guys. All right, here's the sunrise and it's actually freezing outside and I'm barefoot. 
It's so cold, but it is literally stunning out. It's 45 degrees right now. What the heck? All right, you want to know where we're headed? Starbucks. Here's my comfy fit that I threw on. And Jay and I are like practically matching. <laughs> Different color scheme. I know, I love it it's though. It's like the same material. I know, I love it. He's drinking his greens first. And then we're gonna head to Starbucks. <sighs> Happy Saturday, guys. Happy Saturday. What do we got going on today? We're in the Starbucks line right now. We've got, so first of all, like you just said, good old Starbies. And then you've got yeah, I'm actually meeting my friends Megan and Michael at Armature Works, which that will be fun. Just grab some Starbucks or grab some coffee there. Catch up with them for a little bit. Originally we were gonna do brunch, but they're going to a wedding today and it just was like too much. So we're gonna do coffee, which that works for me because I love Armature Works. And Jay has a work call at that same time. So we're gonna do a late workout, I'm thinking, right? Yeah, workout right after. Like 11.30. Yeah, whenever I down. get back, yeah. And then what else we got going on today? Some good football later. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! Are you going to watch it somewhere? Or? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. I keep thinking football season's over and then it's not. February. Yeah. We're, We're getting February. there. We're getting there. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. And also do the uh, burrito, the sausage hash brown scramble burrito. Just the burrito or the meal too? Just the burrito. I am headed to pick up my friends right now. I'm looking at my GPS right now. Headed to pick them up. We're gonna get some coffee together. Originally we were gonna meet, but like they're just visiting so they don't have a car here. And so they were going to Uber and I'm like, I'll just come pick you up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick them up see them for a little bit and then it's 9 30 right now so then i definitely want to get a good workout in today since jay had a call we're like we'll just do a late workout rather than trying to cram it in before we do all of this because it's just not worth it so then after that i really don't think that i have a ton going on on this saturday i would love to just like go to the mall and kind of look around that's like my favorite thing to do on a saturday when i don't have a ton of plans so I think after the workout, I might try and convince Jay to do that with me. And if he doesn't, then I'll probably just go on my own because I know he has a lot of sports he wants to watch. Or a lot of football, I'm guessing. I always just say sports. I sound so ridiculous. He has sports he wants to watch. But I'm sure he has some football um, that he wants to watch either at home or go meet up with someone. So I will catch y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna meet up with Michael and Megan and I'm so excited to see them. It's been so long. Like when I was in Alabama, I would literally see them every single day. So it's so nice seeing people that now that I moved to Tampa, like I obviously like don't know that many people here. So it's fun when people come to visit or if I go back to Alabama, which I think I am here soon. Cause uh, Jeannie and Brent, which Jeannie's my best friend, she lives in Alabama, but she has kids. So like, it's so hard for them to come to Tampa. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see them and I will see y'all in a little bit. Also, I have my new oversized jeans on and they're so cute. They fit me perfectly. So I'll have to show you guys when I get back home. Look who I'm with. I know I didn't even show all of us up. We were too busy talking. I didn't even show what we did, but we went to Buddy Brew, got a matcha latte. I already drank mine. Michael, Megan, oh, I'm so happy. All right, I figured I would show you guys my outfit before I end up changing into my workout clothes because I'm about to work out. I just got home and these are are the new jeans are they not adorable I'm like loving the loungy oversized look so much and these are the ones that I got in a bigger size and then my sister ended up wanting them because they were really long on me and I love them with my phone in my back pocket but they're girlfriend denim so cute how we doing I just walked almost five miles wow the prettiest dog ever hi there muffin Wow, you make me want a puppy. You're so cute. With the Valentine's Day Hi, ribbon decent. or whatever that's called. Bandana, you are a precious muffin. At Kava, I got the some balsamic bowl with grilled chicken, but it looks so good. Here's Jamari's. Here's Jake. What'd we think of Kava? It's so dark. It is definitely my new favorite spot. What a statement. 
It's pretty bold, but it's true. Jamari, is it Chipotle or is it here? Well, that's gonna be a tough decision to make, but Kava's is lighting up the scale. We found out that this is the only two places he eats. Yeah. Rice and protein, if it's there, then I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Too. Yeah, what do you do for breakfast if you eat out? Uh, actually, plain smoothie. Plain really? smoothie breakfast, chocolate Elvis, small. Maybe swap some. Plain uh, smoothie, you're not a smoothie king. They, could, they just got a plain smoothie on uh, Del Mabry. All right, we're about to go meet some friends out. I have been a little bit, haven't done much, just obviously got ready. And when we had Kava earlier, we came back here, just chilled for a bit and relaxed, needed to relax some. So I think I need to redo my uh, eyebrows a little bit, um, add a little bit of eyebrow gel to them. But um, other than that, I just about to leave to go meet some friends at, I think we're going to go to Jackson's, which is a restaurant, meet them. And I have this leather jacket on from Revolve, these Zara shorts, which I actually was wearing tight or I was going to put on a pair of like nude tights and they're from Spanx. So if I remember correctly, they were not cheap tights and I ripped a hold on the whole entire side. They're my only pair of tights that I own. So, a little late for me to go run to like TJ Maxx or something to get a pair of tights. So, I'm just going to go without. It's like 45 degrees, so it's pretty cold. But, I'm going to be okay. And I have this A Goldie long sleeve shirt on that's pretty thick. So, I'm going to be alright. And then I have these Jenny Bird earrings on, I think they're by. And I got them off of Revolve. And I think they're so cute. Like a cute little two-tone pair of earrings. I just used my Bioionic. I didn't use my Dyson tonight to do curls. I used my normal barrel curling iron for just some loose curls. And I think Mike and Megan, which is who I was with earlier, are going to meet us out. And then um, also some of Jay's friends, or like mine and Jay's friends. And then we were with Jamari pretty much all day. So Jamari's going to meet us out too. So big group of friends out on the town tonight and an early bedtime tonight. I'm not going to stay out late because y'all know Sundays we wake up super early for church. So go. That works out well. Cheers. A video. <laughs> oh, we're we coming think, to Nashville. We think August. Yeah. Woo! Aren't you guys proud of me for being out on the town tonight? <laughs> it was really nice to spend some time with friends, but holy Moses, I've got you on some paper towel. Let's see if I can. Put you all right here in my water purifier. It was nice to see my friends and we had a good night. It's midnight right now and I am jumping into my pajamas. I'm ready for bed. I'm exhausted. Get these freaking boots off of me and gotta be up in a couple hours to get ready for 8 a.m. church. So I normally wake up at 6 for church. So it's time for bed but i think i'm going to end off this vlog right here i hope you guys enjoyed my couple days in my life it's been kind of all over the place i've been like i'm here i'm there i'm catching you guys up to pay like catching up to speed but long story short i'm gonna end off this vlog right here i love y'all i adore y'all i actually met a couple of really sweet girls i met like five six seven really awesome girls tonight um that watch me on either tiktok or instagram or YouTube and I'm like it makes me just I don't know it makes my heart so happy to like actually put a face to y'all and to squeeze y'all and meet y'all in person so that was really special and I loved meeting all of you guys but and of course if you ever see me then I would love to meet you because I know some people come up to me and they're like I don't know if you think this is weird but I know you and I'm like oh my gosh not in the slightest so um, that was a lot of fun tonight and then seeing some friends from Alabama when I went to school in Alabama that was really special because I haven't seen them in like literally a couple years which is crazy but that made me feel like a little bit closer to home I guess I would say so I'm going to bed I love y'all I'll see y'all my next vlog and I just adore y'all